The very first time I quit my job, or at least my first serious job, I was working there for almost five years. I was about to get a raise, more responsibilities, and yet I decided to leave all of that behind for something new, something unknown. The reason to leave behind all that certainty and future prospect, it had to do with getting stuck. That feeling of not being able to grow professionally anymore. And sure, I would get more money and responsibilities, but I had a passion for code and I wanted to improve. So I made a choice that hurt me in some ways, but I felt was the better decision in the long run. I was reminded of this story this morning when I was reading through the comments on on my last video uh, where I was talking about creating a new templating engine for PHP. And there was this one comment and I so appreciated this person taking the time to write down their thoughts. And I wanted to, uh, uh, let me read it. Don't you think Rasmus will be proven right in the end? To this day, I still don't understand why you need a PHP template engine when PHP itself already offers all the functionality used there natively. What is the advantage of one syntax over another? Now, some people will argue that template engines offer certain automatic features, such as automatic escaping. Well, if you think that the technical depth, the effort required for maintenance and support and learning an additional new syntax are worth all the unnecessary hassle, go ahead. For me personally, XSLT remains the only processor that has a real raison d'être. If you are unable to prepare your data in the controller so that it can work with simple PHP functionality, perhaps you should reconsider the structure of the data to be processed in a template instead of wanting to afford the overhead of a templating engine. You know, I just love this comment. I I definitely disagree with it, but I so appreciate when people pitch in to share their thoughts and challenge me about my own opinion. I have a couple of thoughts about it and I really want to share them with you as well. The first thing here is the difference in syntax. There's one syntax, there's another one. They aren't necessarily better, they're just different. So why go through all the hassle of creating a templating engine, of using it and learning it? Well, you could just stick with PHP. And so for me, the answer there is developer experience. And there are a lot of things to unpack there. When you look at PHP itself over the past years, maybe even decade, PHP has gotten a lot of features that are focused on developer experience. You could easily make the case that for many new features in PHP these days, they don't add anything new. They just introduce a new way of doing the same thing. Attributes property promotion, null coalescing, property hooks, new in initializers, short closures. We are adding so many new things that aren't actually new at all. There are no new capabilities to the programming language, just different ways of writing it. For me, this has always been a very practical argument to explain why developer experience matters. We're adding nothing new to the language. We're making it more convenient for developers. And why would you want to do that? Does it really matter if you have a slightly more convenient way to do the same thing? Well, yes. I believe that developer experience is one of the most important decisive factors on whether a project succeeds or not. I left that company, a company where I spent almost five years building experience in-house knowledge. I left them because of the developer experience. It wasn't good enough for me anymore. So my first argument here is that yes, developer experience matters because it has a huge impact on developer happiness. Actually, the very first job that I quit, the the, the non-serious job, I worked there for two days. It was a WordPress job and it was my very first job after school. And, you know, I just, I couldn't handle it. The second day that I worked there, I, I decided to quit and my boss asked, why? Why don't you like this code? I mean, it's just PHP code. It's all the same, isn't it? And no, it's not. Try it yourself. Like, think of a legacy project. How much joy does a 10-year-old unmaintained project really give you? So developer experience for developer happiness. 
It's the human side of things, but it is an important factor. And on top of that, improved syntax, new templating engines, they do give a productivity boost. It is measurably easier to write templating code with a templating engine rather than PHP. There are more abstractions, there's more flexibility, there are more convenient ways of doing the same thing. So yes, yes, you do get a productivity boost. When you think of it, we keep doing the same thing over and over again. We keep adding layers upon layers upon layers because it's just more convenient for us. If that wasn't the case, we would all still be writing assembly. My final point on why DX matters is maintainability. Again, circling back to that 10 year old legacy project, if you have one laying around, open it, just scroll through it. You know, a project that you haven't touched in many, many years, maybe you're using PHP as a templating engine. Take a look and decide for yourself whether it's really all that better or not. A while ago, I made this video about interface default methods in PHP and what we think are best practices. I link it in the description if you want to watch it. In that video, I talked about desire paths. Desire paths are what happen when people encounter too much friction. And whether you like it or not, whether you have very rational arguments to say that developer experience uh, shouldn't matter all that much, well, for now, we're still dealing with human programmers. Humans are quirky, humans have their preferences. And to me, keeping the human developer happy is the key to success. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.